When we think about pests in the garden, a lot of things that come to mind are aphids, grasshoppers, and insects such as these. But the four-legged pests can be just as damaging, and I'm talking about animal pests. And these do a lot of damage because, for one thing, they're a lot bigger than the insects, and they're a lot smarter. There's uh, several pests that uh, I've had problems with over the years, but I'd have to say some of the top ones would be deer, armadillos, cats, dogs, rabbits, and moles. And everyone's situation is going to be a little bit different depending on if you live in a rural area versus an urban area, what types of crops you're growing, and what types of animals are in the area. A year ago we had some problems with a woodchuck here at the garden, but fortunately he's, he's not around here anymore and so we're very glad of that. We'll look at a lady's yard here in a little bit who has a problem with wild turkeys. But no matter what type of animal pest you have, there are a few things you can do to minimize the problem. Now our pets, our dogs and our cats, like to lie in our, our flower beds and gardens and they're particularly fond of, of bare soil. So if we just mulch the soil, that will help the problem a lot. And if we use something like these sweet gum balls, if you have a sweet gum tree in your yard or if your neighbor has a sweet gum tree, you, you know how annoying these, these things can be when they uh, start to drop. But uh, using them as a mulch works very well. It's, it's kind of decorative. And this makes an uncomfortable bed for any animal that wants to lay on it. You get all these little sticky protrusions uh, that just irritate the animal and uh, uh, make them want to go lay somewhere else. If you have cats, one thing you might try is to take a uh, plastic two liter bottle, fill it up part way with water, and then place this on its side somewhere in your garden, you know, preferably up, you know, where it's not real visible, and the cats will see the reflection in here and it can help keep them out of the garden. Another thing you might try is to take uh, orange peel and grate that up and sprinkle it in your, your flower beds and garden to help keep cats away also. Well, at my house, we have cats, and I put up this vinyl fence to keep the cats out and also to, uh, to keep the armadillos out, and it worked very well. The uh, cats uh, didn't get into my garden. The armadillos would root up right to the edge, and uh, they would encounter this, this mesh nylon fence, and they, they couldn't get past it. So it worked well for the cats and armadillos. But this winter, when the rabbits arrived, didn't slow them down very much. You can see right here where the rabbits just chewed right through the, uh, the nylon and some nights I would pull up and there would be as many as three rabbits in my garden eating my plants. So to take care of that problem I've now put up a chicken wire fence around my garden and buried it about six to eight inches to uh, keep anything from, from digging under it and I just like to see the rabbits try to eat through this. You, you can also use the chicken wire if you have a problem with, with beavers. If you live near a creek or a pond where there's some beaver activity, you can wrap this around your, your, your young trees and, uh, you know, very, uh, fairly loose, I might add, to uh, keep the beavers from, from getting to your young trees. Now, you'll want to check this every so often as the tree is growing to make sure that it's not constricting the growth of the tree in any way. You can also wrap some uh, chicken wire around your trees if you're having problem with deer in the uh, early winter and late fall when they're going through their rut to keep the deer from uh, skinning up your young trees and shrubs with their antlers. Well, there are a few other things you can do to keep deer out of your garden. There are only a few ways to keep deer out of your garden. I've heard of methods of putting up electric fences and even one person who put up an electric fence attached little pieces of aluminum and put peanut butter on those so when the deer licked the peanut butter they would get the shock of their life and remember to not go to that area again. Well these have limited uh, success of keeping the deer off your property but one way to for sure keep them out is to put up a deer fence and this is the home of Olin and Teresa Thomas, a couple of our ambassadors and they've got the deer fence installed around their property. And you can see it's this black, again, tough nylon material with about two by three inch squares uh, in the material. And it's about seven feet tall. The, uh, the black color keeps it a little less noticeable because you don't really notice the black color in the landscape. It blends in better than any other color. 
and they've done a really neat technique right here, I think, where they've taken these uh, little one buys and just extended them off of an existing barbed wire fence here. So you can just come in and attach this to an existing fence to help keep the deer away from your garden. We're here at the home of Carol Solick, and Carol is one of our Oklahoma gardening ambassadors. And Carol, you have a really unique animal pest here at, at, at your garden. Yes, we have wild turkeys, which we really enjoy. They bring a lot of en enjoyment to us here and we share with our friends. But they are and can be a bit of a nuisance. Last spring, early summer, twice they scratched all the mulch off this flower bed. So out of desperation, I had some chicken wire mm -hmm. and I cut it into 12 inch strips and laid it along the edge of this flower bed. Okay, so just a, a 12 inch wide piece of wire helps keep the turkeys out. Right, and you can stabilize it with a landscape uh, staple. Uh -huh. Okay, well yeah, you, you hardly ever notice that. Uh, you, you don't really see it, it blends in really well. Yes, that's the advantage. I didn't want a fence because it would be unsightly in this location, but I desperately needed something to keep them from scratching in this flower bed, and okay. so far it has worked. Well, well great. <laughs> and when, when you mow or weed eat, is, is there a problem? No. All we do is just pick it up. You can just take the staples out and pick it up and move it away, and you can weed, uh, weed eat or pull weeds around the edge. Okay, and here I guess we, we have a feather of, of one of the, yes. the beasts around here. This is the evidence. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope today we, we've given you a few tips and showed you uh, a few ideas that you can put into practice and help keep some of these animals out of your garden. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel and join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.